and it's in a Golden Jubilee Challenge Cup, Class 3 over the 1650, headed by Anne Doyers. Back into Class 3, his second time on the all weather. Super Chic uh, drops in Class 3 as well. Go Beauty Go. Uh, first time on the dirt uh, for him. Willie weighs three out of five on the all weather surface. Dollar Award course and distance, first time. Cheer and Pearl. Um, all his four wins have uh, come on the dirt. Of course, we've lost travel they took, unfortunately. Unicron Jury whips them in for John Size and Joe Mera from Barrier 12. So we've uh, made our way to the touchscreen uh, here, Brad, to have a look at the, uh, the speed map, which says good to slow. Um, but uh, Turian Pearl should be able to dictate things. Um, he's drawn nicely, drawn low, should be able to get going from there. Yeah, possibly, um, no doubt. Dollar Award, interesting runner, stepping up to uh, the longer trip. I'm sure that uh, Zach will be looking to try and get pole position on the back of the speed. Go Beauty goes tactically versatile. We know that he's been ridden back in the past. He's also travelled forward. I think they'll eventually try and sort of get up outside of Turian Pearl. And then maybe concede to Unicron Jewelry, who I think from the wide barrier will be ridden aggressively by Joe Marrera. They'll assess the race, see there's not a lot of pace and think they might be able to get outside of Turin Pearl. I think actually that's the way it'll set up in the end. And with that in mind, I think Unicron Jury's the very interesting runner in the race because the wide barrier does look a bit of an off put really. It puts you yeah. off a little bit when you look down at the page. Yeah, did me anyway. But uh, mm. our favourite here is early favourite Paul too, uh, Willie, <laughs> Willie Way. What have you got for us in the morning? Oh, well, the first source we'll look at here is uh, Go Beauty Go, working with Werther, who's not a bad uh, work partner here. Uh, Go Beauty Go is having his first start on the surface, but does work well on it, as you can see. I use this as an excuse for him to show Werther as well, even yeah. though he's not racing. But uh, you, you're salivating. <laughs> Sky King's improved. Uh, he's been racing terrible. He got beaten about 860 lengths last start. He's the big boy on the inside. But he has come back and he's trialled and uh, back onto the all-weather. He's an interesting runner as well. Uh, Tour and Pearl, he's going really nicely. Likely to be one of the pacemakers in this, with Delamo taking that seven pounds off. And he could be uh, tough to run down... Um, Turin Pell, we can see him is going nicely enough there at the end as well. All right, OK, well, let's uh, start off with our current uh, favourite. And that is uh, Willie Way and his jockey, Karis Teeton. Willie Way, Karis, is a horse who's got a really good record on the all-weather surface. You've ridden him in his last couple of runs. How do you feel he's going? Yeah, he, he go pretty well on the all-weather. Um, his last few runs, he's been running very good. He's been uh, coming home pretty late, but uh, at least he's, uh, he's finishing off with a, with a very good finish. Is that the way you've got to ride him, just to bring him in with his run late? Yes, uh, he, he, he doesn't uh, have too much speed uh, from the start, so you have to leave him, let him feel comfortable. Um, and then he likes to make that, that last run. Uh, sometimes he can get lucky, he can get there on time, but uh, normally that uh, you, know, he, you, you need a good pace on and you need everything to go his way, but that's his style of racing. He's had two runs. He's also had a barrier trial recently, fitness-wise. Is he at 100%? Yep. Uh, Paul has a trial in between, and I think that's very good. Uh, uh, at least he'll go to the races a bit fresh. So, so, so I'll be looking forward to riding him again. He's come up with a wide gate, but as Karis saying, it doesn't really matter. No. They just go back and... Wooshka. Yeah. Yeah, draw's probably... And a low draw's probably almost potentially yeah. a little negative for him, but, yeah, the draw's not an issue, and he's a lover of the surface, isn't he, Paul? Yeah, five starts, three wins, and he's... You saw that last run, he just about, you know, won yeah. that one, didn't he? He's, I think he's cherry right. He'd be brave to leave him out of your TT. Yeah. yeah, no, he's clearly the one to beat, I think. Uh, we can move on, though, to some of his uh, main rivals, including um, Super Chic. Um, I think he's an interesting horse back down in class here. Yep, you can pen Andoyas. This is not his go, dropping in class. Um, Alvin's had three rides for David Hall this season, hadn't finished in the placings, and he's a better Happy Valley longer distance horse. However, Super Sheik's an interesting runner, dropping in grade. Work's been good going in. He's got more weight to carry, but it's the easier opposition. He was second behind Jade Fortune uh, towards the end of last season at the Valley in this class, and that was a run that I thought caught a lot of people's eye. He had every chance in that race, but this will be easier. It's downgraded, isn't he? Matthew mm. Poon will take seven off, so I don't know if Barrier 1's going to be a massive um, help from though because he might get a bit of well, he's a bit, yeah, he's a bit like Willie Way in that respect so yeah. um, it's probably not a positive all right okay well, that's uh, super chic uh, Kairos Bowser um, again he sort of showed us that he, he's got the ability to win a race is it this one well this is 1650 meters he's coming back from 2200 to me he looks like he needs four miles because um, he just keeps <laughs> on going doesn't he but um, I don't know I, I, I'm not a big fan of him coming back to 1650 
I am. I'm going to tip him, actually, because I think he can just sit in behind the speed. He's coming back from a 2200 metre race where they ran a track record. Fitness won't be an issue. The dirt, they generally get going a bit quicker. He can keep up the grind, and he was nicely fourth behind Divine Boy two starts ago on the all weather. If Divine Boy was in this, he'd be starting favourite. All right, it's a difference of opinion uh, here, but uh, Willie Way for you, Paul? Yeah, I'm going to put Willie Way. I'll make him the best of the day. I think he'll get back and he'll run over the top of Turin Pearl, who set up, should set up a nice pace with Go Beauty Go, the two pacemakers. Dollar Award won't be far away. He'll get a nice run in between them and uh, Go Beauty Go there. I think Go Beauty Go and Turin Pearl will just make sure there's a nice pace for Willie Way. So they'll, set, they'll set it up for him. So I went four, eight, seven, and 3, and I'll make Willie Way the best. Fair enough. He's uh, certainly one of the uh, opposing horses for me. Um, I'm just going to go with Kairos Bowser. I think it's a fairly, you know, open race. There's a few chances, and he'll be an each way price. So, back him uh, each way for me. That's my thoughts. Um, I'm going to throw in Unicron Jury because I do feel that they'll sort of look at this race, John Size and the connections, and realise there's not a lot of speed. And from 12, he might be able to zip over and sit outside of uh, Turin Pearl, and then Willie Way will be uh, closing in late as he does six. 13, 8 and 4, but I'm, I'm happy to have a little shy at the stumps with the 6.